Okay, good morning and welcome to Daf Yomi. Just Daf it. Second of all, most Daf Mem Hey, forty-five. Shmuel and I. Shmuel's in the back. You can't see him, Hello. but uh, there you hear him. But he was telling me I have uh, a task today, which really requires a robot almost to do. Um, I told Shmuel I feel like almost a robot. I'm gonna try to give two Daf Yomi Shurim now. Um, including two Yomis Mencions and two sets of Mishnah Yomi, I mean four Mishnayos and two Yomis Mishnayos, all within learning and giving the Shia within a two hour period. I don't know if there's human beings that could do this, so I must be a robot. I must be transforming into a robot. Shmuel said, makes sense, right? They have robots to do other things, artificial intelligence. So, I could be a robot also, right? I said, I have to imagine Siri, you know, the voice communicator for, uh, the voice assistant for Apple, giving a Dafyomi share. I mean, what would that look like? Siri giving a Dafyomi share. Imagine just, you know, you tap on that button and you ask Siri, Siri, you've almost, mem hey, you're almost 45. And then she just goes into a share and tells you Siri gives you a share or Alexa or Google Assistant or any of these other assistants that answer your questions for Cortana. Um, anyway, I'm a human being. I'm Ben Seon Lang, and I'm going to be giving the first year of the two year of the Fiomi, hopefully, today. I really only have two hours to do it. I have a lot of things to do today. It's Erev Yom Tov, Erev Shabbos. All right, let's get started. Memdal on the base on the bottom. The Gemara says, Amar, the third to last line, Amar, Abba, Rachan, Amar, Rabbi Yochan, Akol, Mo'odim, Eved, Kuchavim, Eved, Ba'ovet, Kuchavim, Ba'al, Ba'as, Yisrael, Shavad, Ma'amzer. Even though we've been talking previously about Yisurei Lavim and Yisurei uh, Kares, right? And we mentioned that only, according to Rav Shimon Timni, which is the accepted opinion, uh, you only create a Ma'amzer out of a Chayvei Krisos. Here, if a non-Jew, uh, has relations with a Jewish woman or an avid Knaini has relations with a Jewish woman, they produce a mamzer, even though it's not Nisar Kares, their union, it's only Nisar Lav, presumably. It's Nisar Lav to be together with a non Jew. Maybe only the Rabbanon. It creates a mamzer. Today we're going to be talking, and you know, Ben Sion, the first thing you know, Ben Sion, about uh, the ramifications, whether the Gemara does give a psak at the end of the Gemara, whether the Vlad is a mamzer or not a mamzer. Uh, but there's clearly two different opinions about this to explain the machlokas, whether it should be considered a mamzer or not considered a mamzer. And to broadly explain, based on that, the machlokas in Rabbi Akiva and Rosh Hashanah Timni, whether a Chayvei Lavin produces a mamzer or not. So the Gemara says, Mana kol modem, who is the one that admits? Shimon Timni, it's Shimon Timni, that's what I've done Timni and Mamzer Chayvei Lavin. He holds only Chayvei Krisus, which is produced a mamzer, not Chayvei Lavin. Hani Mili, the Gemara says, Tav Memheim and Alav, me Chayvei Lavin. The Tafsi Buhu Kedushin. That's the Rakhavi Lavin, where you could theoretically Makadish the woman, Makadish the woman. Right? A Kohen's Makadish a Grusha. It would be a good Kedushin. Al Hacha, Ul Kavi Eved, came in a little Tafsi Buhu Kedushin. They're excluded from the Parsha of Kedushin. They're not Jewish. Even Eved Kainy is only partially Jewish, not fully Jewish. They're not part of Torah's Kedushin. Kedas Moshe of Yisrael. You have to be part of Klal Yisrael. So therefore, there's no Kedushin. So therefore, Chayvei Krisos Dami, even Rosh Hashanah Tzimni would agree, it's like Chayvei Krisos, that the whole reason of Mamzerus is because of the Itvisas Kedushin. This is what we're discussing in Yom Ben Sion. How do you create a Mamzer? What is the parameters for creating a Mamzer? So therefore, he would admit over here, the Mars Mesive, is that really true? Or Brisa, Ove Kuchave, Beraba, Bach, Yisrael, Vlad, Mamzer. Shem Ben Yehuda, Omer, Eid Mamzer, El Mishay, Suro, Yisrael, Erba, Omer, and Oshkari. So Shem Ben Yehuda, who's not Rosh Hashanah Tzimni, the different Tana. He says, no, even a non-Jew who is together with a Jewish woman, it wouldn't create a mamzer only by Chayvei Kares. And we know that this sheet of Rishim Yehuda is aligned, it's the same sheet of Rishim Yehuda So what, if Rishim Yehuda holds not a mamzer, who is so Rishim Yehuda would agree. <clears throat> El Amar of Yosef, based on this question, Rav Yosef has to retract, Mana Kol Modem, who is the one that's Moda, that creates a mamzer? Rebbe, Rebbe, Yehuda Nasi, Afa Gab, the Rebbe Amar, Edvaram halal amur mele de Rabbi Akiva. She also chalutza keerva. Lelo svirle, right? He only says a mamzer is created by Chayvei Lavin. 
uh, Rabbi Akiva, who says a chalutza, chalutza even is her essay, it's not even as her lava, shirla yivna, it's like zidam and erva, and, there's no, and therefore it creates a mamzer. He doesn't hold to that. Rebbe really agrees with Hashem and Timni, you need Chayvi Krisos to make a mamzer. But oh, Chayvi Evera Moda. He's Moda by the case where there's no Tzvidus Kedushin of a non Jew, non Jewish man, and an Evi Kanani and a Jewish woman. Chayas, how do you know this? Chayas, Rav Dimi, Amar Rav Yitzhak, Rav Dumi, Mishum Rabbeinu, oh, Chayvi Evera Baba, Yisrael, Vlad Mamzer. The name of Rabbeinu. Rabbeinu is only a Rebbe, that's a reference to Yahya Nasi. Rabbi Acha, Sarabira. Yahum, who was the Sar Habira, he was the officer of the palace. Who was the officer of the palace? Um, Rabbi Tanchum, maybe in charge of the government. Rabbi Tanchum, brother of Yochia, but Ishkfar Akko, Pro Kani Shvu Yasa. They redeemed certain, they ransomed certain women who were captured by non Jewish people. The Asum Armal is very. They took them from Armon, some say this Armenia, uh, some say this place in Israel where there's non Jewish men, let's very they brought them to the very Havachad, the Abram, but come there's one one of these Jewish women while she was taken prisoner, while she was taken captive, she had relationship with a non Jewish man and she became pregnant for them. I also claimed the Rabbi Ami. They wanted to know what the Allah is. Armal Rabbi Yochan, Rabbi Lazar, Rabbi Ami, Rabbi Kabi, Rabbi Rabbi Shalvan, Mamja. Said the child is going to be a Mamja to abortion. He just said that to abortion. It's a question whether you do abortion in Allah. I'm not taking a side on this in politics. You can decide yourself. But in Jewish law, it is a makhluk. Check it out. So the Gemara says, Amar Rav Yosef, Rebusa Lamech of Gavri. Are you doing justice by mentioning the names of these rabbis? Ha Rav Shmuel and Babel. Rav Shmuel and Babel. Rishul ben Levi, Bar Kapar, Bar Yisrael. And two more rabbis in Israel. Rishul ben Levi, Bar Kapar, prominent rabbis. Some say take out Bar Kapara's name, Ayli is Zakini Dorum. You say all the elders, all the, the wise sages in the south of Israel, the army, Ovid Khabim of Ebed Ababa Israel, that kosher, they all is kosher. So why are you relying on these other rabbis? They may have lost kosher. Alam Rabbi Yosef, Rebbe, it's Rebbe. The Chiasa, Rav Dimi, Amar Rabbi Yosef, Rav Dumi, Mishra, 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 Rabbi Yosef, so therefore, we're relying on him to say it's Mamzer. Rishub and Levi, Omer, Havlad, Makulko. Rishub and Levi has a different sheet, though. He says the Vlad Makulko, like he's Pogom. He's possible of Kahuna, not Lee Yisrael. Laman. What does this mean? Ilay Malakal. He's possible of Kal Yisrael. I'm really like a Mamzer. I'm Rishub and Levi, Havlad Kosher. Rishub and Levi holds Kosher. Al Kahuna must be that he's like a Kalal. He's possible of Kahuna. Kalala. She can't eat true much. She can't marry a Kohen. The Hula, Murai, Demachri, Modu, Shavlad, Pogom. Even that Murayim that say that she's Kosher, that she's not a Mamzer. At least she's a paguma, paguma lekohunim. Kavachom mel mana. You learn this kavachom from mana. Ma mana lekohun gal sheni sura shava bekol. Like we learned yesterday, that there's all the issue of almana is only applicable by lekohun gal. Every other Jew can marry a widow. Sheni sura bekol, but not pagum. And if they're together and they have a child, it's a chalal. It creates a ruined child. Can the child can't eat truma, and she can't marry a kohen. Do sheni sura shava bekol. Here we're talking about. An Isra that applies to everyone, and no Jewish woman can marry a non Jewish man or an Evid, and a Dinshim not Pogum, certainly the child is Pogum. Allah Amana Kohen Gadol, the Gemara anticipates a question. So you'll say over there, May Amana Kohen is different because the woman herself, she becomes a Kalala through that union. Also, over here, the same thing applies if a man, a non Jewish man, cohabits with. A Jewish woman, he passes with Kahuna Damra, makes her a Zona. Damra Yochum Shub and Levi, Emir Shimon, Minai, and Lord Chavav, Ever, Rabba, Ba, Kohan, Kohan, Israel, Vila, Israel, Shi Pastua. If you pass Lord Shnem, Rabba, Skon, Gia, Almana, of Grusha. A daughter of a Kohen, when she's an Almana, she becomes widowed or she becomes divorced. But as she goes back to her father's house to eat Shrum, and she is the Almana's Vigarisha, and she married Israel. When you marry Israel, you can't, you can't, um, she can't eat truma anymore, but if the husband dies or is a magarish, she can go back to her under certain circumstances, she can go back to her father's house. It's only if you marry someone where you have widowhood or garish, where she was actually married to the man. There's no concept of widowhood and being divorced because she was never married to them. No, Tvidus Gedushin. Amor Le Abaye, my chazis, the smachta 
Ah, the Rabbi Edimi. Why are you relying on Rabbi Edimi's teaching? Smoke on the Robin. Rely on Robin's teaching, his version. If he has a Robin, I'm a Rabbi Nasan, Rabbi, I'm a Rabbi Nasan, Rabbi Yeshua Nasi, Morim Bala Teira. He has a version that Rabbi Yudha Nasi actually said. So why don't you learn like him? Uman Rabbi Yudha Nasi, Rabbi, who's Rabbi Yudha Nasi? We know it's Rabbi, but after Rav Mora Bala Teira, Rav himself also. Gave a head there. Do the ask me the rab. I'm like I would come ever about the shirab. Mahu. They asked him this question. I'm like lo. Have lad kosher. It says the child is kosher. It's not a mom's. I'm like havli bartech. And hearing this, this is a person who is a child of a union between a non-Jew and a Jewish woman. So he said, I'm not a mom's. Give me your daughter to marry. Prove it to me that you really believe your psak. Lo yahev nalach. He said, I'm not giving it to you. I'm asking barchi al rab. Maybe Bakhia said to Rav, when Rav didn't reject this man's offer, I'm going to say, Gamba Madai Akaba Rakta. People say in Madai, in media, wherever media is, the media, wherever the media is, uh, in some faraway country, a camel is able to dance in a small box, which is a rumor. People say rumors about things happening in foreign countries. There's no way of verifying if it's true or not. So you kind of believe him. But here, right, you're saying something sounds implausible, and the evidence is right here. Right there, there's no evidence. You have to go to Mada, you have to go far away to go see if it's true, so maybe you can believe him. But here, you're giving this psaq, and you're not following every psaq. You're saying an implausible psaq, and you're not backing it up. Right? You're not dancing in the box. You're not letting the camel dance in the box. You should permit her, you should marry, you should permit him to marry your daughter. I'm gonna let you know that you should be known. Look at him, the party. He says it's not because I don't. I really hold this answer. Just because, even if this man you should be known, I wouldn't give him my daughter. Why not? Why wouldn't give him my daughter? Because people would say bad things about Rob. He's a big rabbi. He does something questionable. He give him sack. But people, other rabbis, him say it's answer. So maybe he don't want to do it. I'm giving an easy way out over here. Um, so the Gemara says. <coughs> Uh, I'm gonna let you have a good show by noon. Imarlo Yahivle, Achrini Yahivle. If this man was like a show by noon, if it was really your show by noon, so even if you didn't give your show by noon your daughter, but other people give you a show by noon, he had a famous, he had a famous, uh, he was famous, he was a famous great person, so he would attract suitors, he would attract women to him. Hi, Imarlo Yahivle, this person no one knows about. It. If you don't give him, you pass him his mother, but then you don't give him your daughter. They're going to learn from you and they're not going to give him the daughter. This man persisted. He wanted to marry Rav's daughter. He got angry at him. He looked him in the eyes. He died. This man died. Rav, quote unquote, killed him. I don't know exactly what that means. He killed him. He looked at him in a mean way. Hashem killed him. He was giving Rav a bad name. Rav gives a psakalacha, one father gives a psakalacha. The big guy was ugly, he didn't want to give him to his daughter, he was ugly. Alright, Gemara says, Avram Masa, Morabella, Tehra of Masa, was included among the Rabbanim who signed the declaration, the letter that's going out in Yeshiva World News, being circulated. Yes, the Vlad is a kosher, it's not a mamzer. Uh, usually it's the other way around, they're, 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 they're signing the disaster. Uh, <laughs> after Rabbi Yehuda more about there, Yehuda also says more to the Chassid to come to Rabbi Yehuda. I'm like Zil Itomer. He said, "Go, go hide yourself. I Meaning, go to another city and marry a Jewish woman. What you're allowed to do? Oh, Nasib Bas Minach. You're gonna stay here. People have questionable have questions about your lineage, your status. They know you were born out of a forbidden union. So marry someone else who was also the child of a non-Jewish man and a Jewish woman. He also come to Rabbi. I'm like." Oh, Gali, I don't see boss. Not the same. The same advice he gave to me. Either go, go to Gali. Go where someone knows. No one knows who you are. Or, because technically you're, you're considered a Jew. Or marry someone who's like you. Shalchu le bnei beimichsi l'raba. The children of beimichsi, place in beimichsi. Is that the raba? Mitzchatzei ever chatzei bein chorin. Habab al shalmao. We've talked now about if he's an avid, a full avid, avid kindi. What about if he's a half avid, half? Let's say he has two masters, one freedom, 
and one didn't free him yet, right? It's Machlokas and Zavitz Chagiga. In Ben Shammai and Mesil, we allow someone to remain like that or not. The conclusion is we don't allow him to, to remain like that, but in the interim, while he was still Chati of Chasi Ben Chorin, um, <coughs> he was together with a Jewish woman. Wow, what's the status of that child? I'm really hash the Evid Kulo Amrinon Kosher, Hetsimi Boyle. If he's a full Evid, the child's Kosher, the Moscow seems to be his Kosher. If he's only half an Evid, for sure. But we also have Barra the Shmaisa. This is Zed, the author of this opinion, Manu, Rabbi Yehuda. Who is the one that says that Evid Ababas Israel is Kosher? Rabbi Yehuda, Bahama, Rabbi Yehuda, Mishachesi, Evachesi, Ben Chorin, Ababas Israel, also Vlad Ain Lotakana. Rabbi Yehuda is the one that says by a full Evid, she's Kshera, the child is Kosher. But it's Chetzi Eve, Chetzi Ben Chorin, who would tell Ain Talkana. It sounds like a mom's there. Okay, Itmar, the Rav Yehuda. So the Gemara tries to figure it out. Rav Yehuda said that going to Kiddush Bas Yisrael, where he did Kiddushin first. He did Kiddushin to the, to the woman. The Nimsa said, Avdus Shabba Mishtamish Be'ish Azish. There it's a little different because if he does Kiddushin to her, so technically the Kiddushin of an Eve to a Bas Yisrael has no significance. It's not it's worthless. He's not a Bar Kiddushin. He's not part of Klal Yisrael, really. But Half of him is the Yisrael, so the Kiddushin takes effect from the side of Yisrael. So then once he's already married to the woman, then the half of him that's an Eved cohabits with a married Jewish woman. Right? You know, he's, he, even though she's married to his other half, but she's married to a married woman, it's an Eishas Ish. And everyone would agree that an Eved who's Ba on Eishas Ish, right? Until I'm talking about a Jewish woman who's a single Jewish woman, but she's a married woman, for sure that would be a problem. Uh, but Nardai says, he says, the one who apostles, Evid Ababas Israel, that's even if a Pnuya, the single woman, even the one who matters her, matters even if she's married. And both of these uh, opinions are learned out of the halacha of your father's wife. Right, which is an Isser law in the Torah, but it's also an error. Ramon the Apostle, the one who says Apostle, Savar Ma Ishes Av, Lo Tavsa Bakdushin. Right, you can't <clears throat> technically marry her. She's an erva. Havlad Mamzer. So therefore, together with your father's wife, you create a Mamzer. Av Kol Lo Tavsa Bakdushin Havlad Mamzer. Here also an Eved. Oh, we call him a Baal Yisrael. Lo Mamzer. Ramon the Machshir Savar Ma Ishes Av. The Ladide Lo Tavsa Bakdushin. Not Kreni Tavsa Bakdushin. He personally, for him, it's an erva. It's his father's wife. But anyone else. Technically, uh, Kedushin will be Tophis because it's only Chayve uh, Lavin. I mean, yes, assuming that they weren't married anymore, if he divorced his, his, his wife. Lafuke, Ovi Kachavim, Eved, Lo Tavsi, Bo Kedushin, Klal. As opposed to Ovi Kachavim, there is no Kedushin Kedushin, so there the child would be a Mamzer. So that, that's the Gemara's explanation, not necessarily an Asian Sish, but I mean, it also applies to an Asian Sish. Uh, that's why. We learned that he, the one who's machshir would even machshir by eshesish because you learned that at eshesav, which is an eshesish, and still he'd be machshir in that case. Ella ki itmar the Rav Yehuda ki gon shabal eshesish. What's the case of Yehuda, where the Ovei Kochav and the Eved was together with a full with a, man, with a woman who was married to another Jewish man? Now the problem is worse because he's a half Evid, half Ben Chorin. So the fact that he's a half Yisrael, he is cohabiting with another man's wife, which is Kares. I'm a Ravina, I'm a leader of God. So that's why he would say, Rav Yudah would say, that creates a mom's only in that case. I'm a Ravina, I'm a leader of God. Rav Yosef, Rav Yosef, Rav Yosef, Rav of Gaza said, Riyos Barasu Avin came to our town. There was a woman that an Evid, or an Ove Kachavim, was together with a Pnuya, a single Jewish woman, And he made the, the child, he said the child was Kasher, it was not a mom, the Ish Apostle. A married woman, Evid Ba'an Ish Ish, then she Apostle. Amr Shesh, that would be not like we said before. Amr Shesh, Lili Amr Ali Rav Gaza. She said, Rav Gaza said to me, Lo Rabbi Yosi Bar Avin Hava, El Rabbi Yosi Bar Rabbi Zveda Hava, was different rabbi. Uh, she said, not like him. He said, even if the woman is married, an Evid Kochavim, an Ovid, an Ovid Kochavim, a non Jew who's with a, or an Evid who's with a married Jewish woman, still a child still would be kosher. 
came to our place. He matured in both cases. The child is kosher. The Allah Even if the, 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 the non-Jew is together with an Asian ish, if he was Israel, the child would be a mamzer. Adultery creates a mamzer. But if the person is a non-Jewish man, so therefore he's added the realm of Judaism. So the other realm of Judaism is not considered adultery technically because. There's no condition, there's no relationship between the two. It's interesting, Allah, right? If he was a Jewish man, it would create a mom there. Because he's a not Jewish man, it's an Evans, so therefore it's not created a mom there. It's Allah, 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 Rava asked her Mari Barachel. Rava permitted, he, he said he's not a mom there. Rav Mari Barachel. Mari, he was called the son of Rachel. His mother, because his mother was taken as a, a Shmuya, she was captured by non Jews. And she became impregnated by a non-Jewish man in her captivity. Um, her father's name was Isi. Then Isi converted afterwards to Judaism. Even though he was a Jewish, he became Jewish. Rav Mari's lineage was always linked to his mother. His mother was a Jewish woman. Out of respect for him, that he shouldn't be talking about Isi was a convert and linked to his father, who who was with was non-Jewish when he had when he impregnated his mother. Anyway, he was basically uh, an Ovi Kochavim about Ba'as Yisrael. He was now using Ma'ashat and Ma'am Zeroman Yei the Bavel. He appointed him as a policeman in Bavel. He appointed him as a policeman. When you appoint kings and you appoint shotrim, you appoint policemen. Any appointments that you make to the government officials to law enforcement, they have to be from people that have the same lineage as you, they have to be amongst your Jewish people. Hi, came of the Imam Yisrael, Mikra Karabachi Kagarina Bay, still considered amongst your people, amongst your brothers, because he had a Jewish mother. So there was another story. Now we're talking about Tevila over here. Tevila, in order to become a gear, gear, a gear, a gioris or a gear, you need Mila and Tevila. A woman would just need Tevila. So what was the story over here? Uh, a certain Evid, he wanted uh, to marry a non-Jewish woman. So he had her be Tovel. Amar of Yosef, I could be the woman. And I give her the daughter out of the union. But the Ravasti, the Amar Ravasti, Milo Tavla and Edusa. Ravasti, we're going to see later on, says that if a woman, she's learning how to become Jewish, um, and she doesn't do a tefillah expressly for for Gairus, but she's learning halachas and she realizes she's a nida, she does tefillah for her Nidusa. So therefore, it's almost like it's worth. It's the same thing. She's doing it partially to become Jewish to keep the halachas of Judaism. So therefore, we are mach of it as a tefillah. We consider it as a tefillah for Shem Gairus. The Barta and Haikal Mashir, the daughter of Chavim Ever Abab Bas Yisrael, Vlad Kasha, we hold the Allah is, even though technically uh, he's not Jewish, the Evid, he's an Evid, Abab Bas Yisrael, the Vlad is Kasha. Hahuda Abu Karile Bar Armiyasa, there was a certain person they were calling the son of a non Jewish woman, Marasi, Milo Tavlan Edusa. Still, the same the same logic being, this is Ravasi's statement. That she was learning to become Jewish, she was tovel for Nidusa, so therefore she's a Yisraelis, and the child would be kosher. Who the cover? How Karle Bar Arma? There were another instance where they're calling someone the child of a non-Jewish man. Amr Shulman Levi Minit Lo Tavel Akario. Again, he was learning to become Jewish, so therefore one of the halachas used to be Takanas Ezra is that when you see Kario, Bal Kari, you see him and he has to go to the mikvah to be tovel the Kario, so therefore he was learning the Allah, even though he didn't express to have Tvila, the shame Gerus, he had Tvila, the shame part of the mitzvos, and that would render him a Ger, and therefore make him a kosher Jew. Okay, we're going to stop uh, Daf Mem Hay over here, 45. Stay tuned for Yom Ben Sion and Daf Mem Hay, uh, where we're going to be talking about this the halacha lemaisa. We'll be talking about the whole daf uh, about evid the ovid chav of baba is Israel. The vlad is a mamzer. The vlad a kosher. It's a machlokas throughout the entire gemara, and the gemara actually does render psak halacha that the child is a kosher. 
what is the source of the machlokas, what's going on over here, and it really links to this machlokas, fundamental machlokas that creates a mamzer between Rabbi Akiva and Rabbi Shibana Timni, whether you need a chayve krisis or only even a chayve laman or chayve essay maybe, create, according to Rabbi Akiva, create a mamzer. See you when you come up now.